I got the chance to play this new One Piece game that is currently out now called Pure Seas 2. This game is open to the public, but it's an open CC game, which means you'll have to join the Discord and group in order to play the game. I'll have all the links you'll need in the description down below. I usually don't play One Piece games because I don't really know much about the anime, but one thing I did notice about most of the One Piece games on Roblox are pretty much most of them are just bandit beaters and fetch quests. The good thing about this experience is you won't feel like you're loading into another one of those bandit beaters. It gives off a One Piece rogue lineage vibe with a lot of different aspects added into the game. There are doctors around the map to heal you from your injuries that you may have got, and there's also cancer and COVID-19 implemented as diseases you can get. Now don't ask me how doctors can cure cancer, but I guess they have some technology and medicines that we don't. You spawn into the game as a random race, height, and weight. Age is very important because as you get older, that's when you start to have a chance to get cancer. Cancer causes you to take two times more damage, and you could also wipe. I think they said there was eight different races races in the game. The ones I remember is Human, Fishman, Giant, Ancient Giant, Mink, and Skypeans. The fruit mechanics in the game are also different than other One Piece games, so not everyone will get a fruit because they're extremely rare, but once someone has a fruit, that fruit is theirs, and it won't be available until they get wiped. In my opinion, I like this idea since it has a lot of potential to create some good lore in an active community. There are also rebirths in the game so you can improve your stats. Basically, it gives you an HP and stamina buff every rebirth birth, so you're able to use more skills in a fight. Bounty also gives you an HP buff depending how much you have. You could honestly become near invincible if your bounty is way higher than everyone else's in the game. One way to get bounty is to travel to certain islands and capture the flags. Now this only works if you have a group in the game, but this is a good way to get bounty consistently. All you need to do is go up to a flag and type in your group ID and you'll start to get bounty over time. I don't know how much it gives you or what the set time is for the rewards, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere between 5 to 20 minutes of playtime. Now combat is a big deal when it comes to games like these. If I'm being honest, it's not anything that'll blow you away, but I can say that it was still very enjoyable to play. The only problem is we were in a server that I wasn't close to, so the ping I was getting was crazy during combat, which made most of the footage I got unwatchable. This part of the video is a good example of what bounty can do for you when you have an excessive amount. My HP went from 300s to 160 million. Now I doubt anyone will get a bounty that high unless they're no life in the game for a long time. Like I said before, there's a lot of fruits and skills you could acquire in the game. They also added in Buso Hockey and Advanced Buso Hockey. Buso Hockey gives you a huge attack buff which is a good boost against someone who is more of a tank coming at you. And then Advanced Buso Hockey it gives you more of a defensive buff which is good to use against heavy hitters. The only thing is Buso Hockey doesn't last long once you first acquire it as a skill. I also got to use Whitebeard's weapon which is big compared to humans. Normally humans aren't able to use this weapon because it's locked to giants, so it's good to see being a certain race has some good advantages, and it all depends on how you want to play the game. Now there's a lot of other things to talk about in the game, but I would highly suggest joining the Discord and group to try the game out yourself to get your own opinion about the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button, also, don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions about the game or have some ideas you'd like to see put into it. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.